Okay. My name is Dr. Andrew. Today we're going to be looking at my computer. This is my computer right now. I wanted to do just a disc cleanup today and just get a basic check because we're going to be getting a new PC here in the next couple of weeks and I wanted to see because <clears throat> it only has 15 gigabytes of internal storage and that might not be enough. That might not be a, enough to put all the stuff that we have on this computer here on there. So I just wanted to do a basic check today just to see, you know, what kind of what kind of stuff is actually loaded onto this computer, like what amount of speed and gigabytes of RAM and just basically the specs just to just to give us a picture of what we're working with here as compared to what we might be dealing with a little bit further on down the road so what I didn't know about what I didn't know about windows is you can go to control panel and you can see right at computer so you go to computer and then it'll bring you to this spot right here it'll say hard disk drives it'll say local disk 156 gigabytes free of 232 gigabytes that is the one thing that this computer does not lack is storage space 232 is pretty solid in today's day and age but everything else in this computer is pretty well garbage so we're almost operating at 80 gigabytes of storage space right now. So I'm looking to find out where all of this used up storage space is coming from. I will find that out, but that is not the point of this video. Here, what we're looking at now, if we want to go up to system properties, it will show information about your computer, such as the processor speed and the amount of installed memory. Click that. This is a Windows 7 Professional, copyright 2009, Microsoft Corporation, all rights reserved, with Service Pack 1. We can get more features with a new edition of Windows 7, but I'm just going to say screw it and buy a whole new computer. Manufacturer is Dell. <laughs> okay, moving on. <coughs> Rating 2.3 in the Windows Experience Index. So, if we look at the Windows Experience Index, we can find out directly what it is here. The Windows Experience Index measures the capability of your computer's hardware and software configuration and expresses this measurement as a number called a base score. A higher base score generally means that your computer will perform better and faster with a, than a computer with a lower base score, especially when performing more advanced and resource intensive tasks. So essentially the higher the score, the better your computer. Doesn't shock me how they made this rating. Each hardware component receives an individual subscore. Your computer's base score is determined by the lowest subscore. For example, if the lowest subscore of an individual hardware component is 2.6, the base score is 2.6. The base score is not an average of combined subscores. However, the subscores can give you a view of how the components that are most important to you will perform and how and can help you decide which components to upgrade. You can use the base score to buy programs and other software that are matched to your computer's base score. For example, if your computer has a base score of 3.3. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. The scores currently range from 1.0 to 7.9. The Windows Experience Index is designed <coughs> to accommodate advances in computer technology as hardware speed and performance improve. Higher scores ranges will be enabled. The standards of each index will generally stay the same. However, in some cases, new tests might be developed that can result in lower scores. 
to view your computer's base score. And again, I must stress this is on Windows, only for Windows users. Click to open performance information and tools. We have a current rating of 2.3 for our little bad boy here. Processor is an Intel Atom CPU N455 at 1.66 to 1.67 gigahertz. The installed memory RAM is 2.0. The system type is a 32-bit operating system. Today's day and age, most good systems will have 64-bit. I'm hoping that the computer coming in, which is a 2.1 gigahertz processor, a 4 gigabyte installed memory RAM, and a system type, which hopefully will be, since it's like 2015 or 2017, will be a 64-bit operating system. The only problem is it has a 15 gigabyte internal storage and this one has 230. So we're looking at a big drop there and I don't know how we're gonna compensate for that. Most of what I have on here is just music and photos. So I'm not sure how we're gonna approach that. Right now I'm doing a disc cleanup, but I don't imagine I'll be able to clean up. I don't imagine I'll be able to clean up that much disc space to get it down to under 15. The processor, calc what is rated as calculations per second, subscore is 2.3. The RAM, which is how fast the computer does processes, like opening up a browser or turning on a meditation video as memory operations per second. Our sub, -sub score is 4.6. So when we upgrade to the 4.0, that's gonna bring our sub score right up around probably six or seven, which is really good considering 7.9 is the best. We paid $100 for this laptop, I might add, so we didn't really get ripped off. It did its job for the year that we had it. The graphics is the desktop performance for Windows Aero. I don't know what that means, but it gives us a 3.0 rating. The graphics on this computer are not bad. I must admit, they're not, they've been not bad. It, it goes up to 720p on this computer. The gaming graphics is 3D business and gaming graphics performance. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend this type of a laptop for gaming, this type of a notebook. It's not fast enough. It's 3.0 subscore. Primary hard disk, the disk data transfer rate, which I've actually done a lot of videos transferring to upload YouTube videos. This gives us a 5.6. I will tell you that this, this, this actually does transfer data to the disk very quickly. I've remembered transferring like 12 gigabyte videos, which is like 50 or 60 minute 4K videos onto this computer from a phone with a regular USB, trans like a regular USB cord, and it takes like 15 minutes. That's not bad. So, in any, in any shape or form, that's uh, that's all I have for today. I just wanted to show you all what I'm doing this morning. It's it's Monday morning. It's, it's Monday morning. It's December 30th. It's 4.44 in the morning. Wow. Yeah. See, I don't do too much. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Leave a like or a, a, a comment in the comment section. And share the video. And there's links in the description too. For people that want to make a donation or something like that. And I'm getting out of here for now.